My name is DJ Infantry, and I am Legally Blind. My passion for the outdoors has taken me to some amazing places, and I have done some incredible things, all with one mission in mind, to inspire you to get outdoors. Welcome to Infantry Outdoors. Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Infantry Outdoors. Yours truly, your favorite disabled DJ, I'm the Infantry, back at it again, welcoming you to today's program. And I hope that wherever you are watching today around the world, you are having an amazing day. As always, our video is brought to you by a few people. They do help to pay the bills, so let's quickly acknowledge our sponsors so we can get into today's program. Silver Connections Group, for all of your websites and web information, let my friends, the marketing experts at Silver Connections Group handle that for you. Also, water purification products. Pure water is at your fingertips. Look no further than water purification products. Check them out today at waterpurificationproducts.com. And Mayhem Studios. Put a little mayhem in your media, make it that much better. Check them out today and email them at mayhemstudios at yahoo.com. Well, guys, welcome to part three of our little series that we've had on turkey calls. Uh, as a beginning turkey caller, as you've heard me say in many of these episodes, I have broken down and shown you the types of turkey calls that we've used, starting with the box call. So we'll put that card up here. You guys can check out that video if you'd like, the beginner's guide to a turkey box call. And of course, that led us into our second video in the series was the beginner's guide to a turkey slate call. And that brings us up to today's episode number three, a turkey mouth call. Now out of these three types of calls, I would definitely have to say that this, the mouth call, is going to be the most challenging. It is the most difficult and it is a more technical and advanced type of turkey calling. While it does seem easy to do, it does take some mouth manipulation because it's done in our mouth. So first off, let's show you a turkey call and basically break it down for you. All right, well, here's our mouth call for the day. Show it to you guys really close. Now, it's nothing more than a piece of athletic tape with a piece of metal and then the silicone or rubber or whatever they use in the middle there to make our reed or our band. Now. One thing I do want to tell you guys starting this off that I can honestly relate using a mouth call to would be to playing a musical instrument. So if you've ever played a musical instrument, basically that's what you're doing here. You're going to be using this like a reed or a woodwind instrument to create the sounds of a turkey. So breaking it down, it is cut like this. Now you guys can trim this to fit your mouth. That's the nice thing about a mouth call. It is 100% customizable and will basically fit every mouth pretty much that you can think of. If you can put it in your mouth and blow and make it sound, well then there you go. So let's jump right into how do we use a turkey mouth call. Well first of all when you look at it, you're gonna think that it goes in your mouth this way. Okay, because it's shaped like our mouth. Now this is where you would be dead wrong. It actually goes in your mouth this way. Now on every mouth call I own and that I've picked up so far, and I have three or four of them here, is that there's a bump on one side and there's not on the other. This side with the bump is going to go to the root of your mouth, okay? And this is the direction it's going to sit, so the reed is going to face forward. Now before we get into this, let's talk about turkey calls because there are a lot of different types of these. You may see them at the store. There's all different names. There's, you know, the old Raspy, which I have here, the Commander, the Zinc, uh, are the three that I'm going to be showing you today. And um, they're all cut differently. Basically what that means is each one 
of the reeds, the little tips, the little points that's in your silicone, each one of those is going to be different. Now, the cuts in those will determine the sounds or the tones that you're going to be listening or you're going to be generating to implicate or to sound like a turkey. Okay, so we'll get into the types of different sounds here once we learn how do we use a turkey call? How do we make a sound? Now, before we get started, there's going to be three words I want you to learn. Chalk, plock, and pot. Okay, so chalk, plock, and pot are the three, three words we're going to use. But before we get into that, let's try to make a sound. So how does this work? We're going to take this and we're going to put it into our mouth with the bump going to the roof of our mouth. Now you're going to place this towards the back of your mouth, not up and in the front, and your tongue is going to rest like this, okay? So it's gonna to go towards the back of your mouth and your tongue is going to rest like this. Your tongue is what's going to control that reed, all right? So good tongue control in this is going to be a bonus. So, all right, so we put it in our mouth and most people will go like you're blowing out a birthday candle. That's not the case. This is a diaphragm call. It's going to come from your diaphragm. So you're going to go. Hear the difference? So we're going to say chalk. All right, those are the words we're going to use, but let's see if we can get a sound out of it. So you're going to put it in our mouth, push it to the back, and... And there you go. And as you can see, it kind of bent to the shape of my mouth. Okay, so that's putting it in there and just going <laughs> and that's what you need to practice. Put it in my mouth, put it back. Okay, so now that we've established a tone, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start with our three words. So the first thing we're going to start with is chalk. Okay, so we're going to say the word, put this in our mouth, put it where it needs to be, and say the word chalk, chalk, chalk. Okay, so there's the word chalk. Moving on to our second word, plock. Plock is going to be a cluck. So, you can imagine you say plock. It's a very plock, plock, plock. Very short word, so it's going to make very short clucks like a turkey would. So let's put it, call in our mouth, get it positioned, and practice that. you'll hear how the tones are completely different from a cluck to a pluck. Okay, so we've learned chalk and plock. Now we're going to move into the word pot. Okay, so we're going to, again, put it in here in calls of three, put it, put it back. Very simple to do. And you notice that, again, I associate this to playing a musical instrument because each way that you use or manipulate your mouth will manipulate the call. Just like a saxophone reed, just like an oboe, 
things like that. The tighter that you bite the reed, the more that you're able to change the sound. And the same thing goes with this. So those are the three words that we have for you today. Chalk, plock, and pot. These three basic words will give you turkey sounds from any turkey mouth call. Now on to the next question that beginner turkey hunters have, myself included, is what is the difference between all of these turkey calls? Well, today I have three to show you. The three that I have to show you are the three that I started out with this year and purchased for myself. Two of them came in the kit that you'll see up here. The Strut Commander Spring Turkey Fever Kit came with two calls. One is the Old Raspy and one is the Strut Commander. And I have each of them is going to sound a little bit different. Then you also have a Primo's brand Zinc, I believe is what it's called or I forget the name of it, but it's a Primo's brand call. And all three of these are cut differently. All three of them have different reed tips, which here I'll show you on the camera now. The three different reeds or styles of reeds or cuts is again, like we've talked about, what makes the call. So let's start off with the call that we've already associated with, we've already heard through this video. Moving on to call number two, I believe this one is the old raspy. There you go, there's call number two. Moving on to call number three, which is our Primo's brand call. Now I hope the mic audio does it justice because each one of these calls has a different tone. And the more advanced calls have multiple reads, multiple cuts, and the ability to do more things. Now today, again, this is just a beginner's guide to turkey mouth calls, and I hope that you guys are enjoying it so far. If you are, please consider giving the video a thumbs up, and if you like it enough, subscribe. It's absolutely free to do. Ring the bell and you'll be notified each and every time that we put out a new video and each and every Friday night when we live stream. So again, each call has a different sound, a different tone, and it's up to you, the musician, to learn how to play your instrument. Pick it up, play with it, try different things. We've learned three different types of words to help us manipulate the call. Chalk, plock, and pot. Now there are lots of other calls, sounds that you can make, and as well as combinations of sounds, like you heard me do here before using pot and chalk. Um, these different tactics will also help to manipulate or make Mr. Tom Turkey think what a hen might be saying or doing. So it's very important to practice, very important to get yourself down pat. Now let's go into the pros and cons as we've done throughout this episode series of my thoughts on the turkey mouth call. Start with the pros. Number one, 100% hands free. You put it in your mouth in the woods, you got your rifle. Bam! I can shoot them hands free. I can shoot them hands free. <laughs> no issues at all. Um, small, compact, and com you know easy to carry. They come in cases like this, guys. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. You just pop open your case, put your mouth call in there, close it, throw it in your pocket. You're good to go. Um, so ease of carry, compact, hands-free design, really, really are the pros of using a mouth call. What are the cons? The cons are this is probably one of the most difficult turkey calls 
to learn how to do. Uh, it wasn't really for me being a musician. I know how to use musical instruments to make sounds. I also know how to use my voice to naturally make sounds. So a diaphragm call really wasn't that complicated, but for others, it might be. For those who may not have uh, the ability to use their tongues in the right ways or whatever the case may be, you may be a person who has difficulty with this. So keep that in mind. Also, there is millions and billions and billions of turkey calls out there. As you guys see, I showed you three right here. So they're very common and they are everywhere. Which one do I get infantry? Well, the one I'm going to tell you to get is the one that you pick up off the shelf and buy and give a try. Because at the end of the day, that's exactly what it is. Just like I've told you with the box calls and the slate calls, pick it up, give it a try because each one is going to be different. Each one's gonna sound different. And remember, if it doesn't fit you right, you can cut the tape that surrounds these. So it can fit your mouth better. It can be more comfortable. You can get yourself a better seal uh, because at the end of the day, you want that sound to come out naturally. But again, you wanna make sure that you make the proper turkey sound. So practice, practice, practice. Buy one, get out there and try it. That's my advice to you. Now these turkey calls that you've seen in this video, the three that I have here will be linked in the description below. And if you shop using our links, you do help out the program. So thank you very much because we get a very small kickback from Amazon when you shop using our links. So with that said, if you'd like to know all of our recommended product here on the program, check out our website, infantryoutdoors.com. And if there's anything that you'd like to see us do, talk about or review here on the program, write to us at infantry at infantryoutdoors.com. That's all I have for you guys. I hope that you've enjoyed this three-part series and I hope that you have watched all three parts. If you haven't, the cards are in the video and the links are in the description down below for you guys to check out all three turkey calls in this series. As for me, the infantry, that's all I have for turkey mouth calls. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you give it a thumbs up and I hope that you consider subscribing. Ring that bell so that you're notified each and every time we put out a new video on Wednesdays and when we live stream on Fridays. But for me, I'm going to get going. I hope that you have an amazing day or wherever you are around the world. And I hope that this and all of my adventures inspires you to get outdoors. Until we meet again, have an amazing day, everybody.